What's going on everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use the DocuSign app. As you can see, it's in the top left corner of my screen here. So I'm going to be going through a couple example contracts and just quickly showing you, you know, a tutorial of how it works, how to sign things, initial things, everything you need to know pretty much. And this app is invaluable. Um, if you're a real estate investor, real estate agent, or pretty much anyone that needs to access contracts and documents on a regular basis, then I would highly recommend getting DocuSign as well as this app because I'll tell you, I just had a deal where there was many different purchasers trying to get it under contract. The seller sent me a counter offer and I knew it wasn't going to last for very long. So I had to get this thing signed immediately and I was actually able to get everything signed and initialed within about 30 to 60 seconds and sent back to the agent. So it's a very effective tool. It's, it's pretty much a must have if you're a real estate investor or a real estate agent. So now let's show you how it's done. The very first thing you're going to need to do is obviously download the app um, from the app store and it's a free app. You do need to have a DocuSign account because you're going to have to use your you know username and password to get in. Uh, but if you have a DocuSign account, you can just download it for free. It'll look like this. And let's say that somebody sends you a document, maybe it's a seller, maybe it's a real estate agent, uh, that you need to get signed you know, in a very timely manner on it. I'm going to show you two different ways of getting it signed. So the first one is you're actually going to go into your email where you got the counter offer or document that you need to sign. And here's just an example one. So you're going to want to click on it and here's an offer. This was actually an offer I did a little while ago. And the very first thing you're going to want to do is in the bottom left hand corner, you're going to want to click on that and you're going to want to scroll down and you can actually just sign with DocuSign just like that. And it makes it very easy, very simple. Uh, it's pulling it up now. So let's say the seller sent back and maybe you guys were doing like a verbal counter offer and they sent back an offer of 315, which you really want to get under contract. What you do is you just tap where you want to get it signed. And then in this case, maybe I would do it, you know, my initial right there next to any changes. Um, you can also, you know, let's say you need to get a signature, you know, I'll just put a signature wherever. Let's say you need to put a signature right here for some reason. So you can put your signature there. You know, it makes it very easy um, to use. And then you would just click on finish. You'd say confirm signing. And you have successfully signed the document, then you could send it back over to the agent. And that literally took, you know, 30 seconds maybe. You just type their email in and send it off. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to get multiple parties to sign the document. And as of right now, DocuSign is not great at actually being able to make edits through the app. So if you need to like change price or change different terms, it's not great with that. You'd have to get the other party to make the terms, send it over to you, and then you can very easily, you know, initial and sign it. So that's what we're going to do now. So you're going to go back to the document and you're just going to save it. Save to files. And we can just replace it. So now it's saved. We're going to go back to the DocuSign app. Oh, and it, and and here's the home page, the interface of the DocuSign app. As you can see at the bottom, home page, create documents. So we're going to press create. And then as you can also see, there's many different ways that uh, you can pull different documents. Uh, so there's Evernote, Google Drive, Dropbox. We save this to files. So we're going to pull up files. Here it is, the first one, counteroffer one. I'm going to press next. And then... We're just going to say others. So we'll just do Billy, Bob, just to show you an example here, what it looks like. I'll just type in a couple quick emails, needs to sign. And then we'll do Billy, Bobby. And then they need to sign. And then you can also add yourself. So add recipient, you can also, I can add myself if I want. Save that, and then you can move it around, which is kind of cool. You just click on it, and then it can you can change the order, and then we'll click on Next. And similar to the way if it was just me signing, uh, let's say the perch the seller, or buyer, whoever it was, sent you back a counter offer, an offer for three fifteen. You would just initial next to it, and this is for Billy Bob, so. We would probably need 
all signatures. So let's do Billy Bobby as well. That would be his signature, so it would be forcing him to sign. And if we wanted to get my signature as well, or my initial, we would get all three initials. And then you would just scroll through. And let's say the person changed the date as well, then you could do the same thing. And you just click on that initial. And then you'd get everyone's initial. You'd click on next. And then, you know, you can change the envelope name. Um, And that's pretty much how you do it. It's pretty pretty straightforward. So uh, very highly recommended if you're in the real estate field. Obviously, I mean, if you're in other fields too, I'm, I'm sure it would definitely be a big benefit. Um, like I said, I got this offer ratified under contract in like under 60 seconds. And what was kind of funny is I actually, I didn't want to seem too eager to get the deal done. So I waited like 10 or 15 minutes uh, and then I actually, and then I just signed it and sent it back over to them. I was like, why am I doing this? I should just get it signed and send it over so that we're under contract. And I also have a video on the DocuSign tutorial and that's more for like laptop, desktops, things like that. And obviously it has more features. You can do a lot more different things with it. Um, but if you're on the go, you just need something signed. You need to get that contract ratified ASAP. Um, the app is a great thing. And then, you know, obviously use both, uh, and you should have your laptop with you. You know, if you're in real estate, you should probably have that just on the go. You never know when you're going to need to write an offer, send in a contract. You can always get delayed by things. So it's a good idea to carry your laptop, but then use this as kind of like a backup plan. If you just need to get an offer out there, uh, you know, under contract immediately. So thanks for watching. Definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you on the next video. All right, bye.